Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation as always to the elect. And uh, I wanted to get into the topic of grace, all right, because we are under grace. You got a lot of uh, Christians, um, in particular Israelites, arguing that we are under the new covenant. And um, that's far from the truth, all right, because the new covenant. And its fulfillment is basically salvation in which the law, statutes, and commandments will be written in the hearts, all right, the minds of the Israelites, meaning we will be programmed to be perfect. There will be no need for repentance. There will be no need to teach any other Israelite because that uh, covenant entails the laws being written in us, which basically is us being perfect. And the uh, issue was always the Israelites turning from the Lord. All right, through sin, which sin is the transgression of the law. Okay, so under that first covenant, okay, we uh, didn't fulfill the contract. We broke the contract. Therefore, we were cast away. All right, if you keep these laws, these blessings will come upon you. If you break these laws, these curses will come upon you. And we broke those laws, man. Okay, and what was under that first covenant, what basically paid off the debt? You know, which the, the debt is the sin. OK, the, the, the sacrifice paid off the debt. OK, so what happened is Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, offered himself up as a sacrifice and he paid off the debt for us. OK, so now we are under what you call a grace period. OK, now, if you have a bill that you owe, OK, you're, you're giving you're given a particular time after the due date all right to gather up the money to pay that bill off that's the grace period you're given a grace period to get your shit together get your money together however you do it okay and then pay off that bill all right pay off that debt okay so now we're under a grace period in which we all right we're in debt okay we're in debt because we owe Yahweh Shai through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai we owe all right, for that sacrifice he made. Now we have to make our bodies a living sacrifice, man. So what you do with your grace period is very, very important to your salvation because it will show your faith, the particular things you do, how you act, how you behave, you know, you teaching, being, being uh, faithful, all right, whatever it is that you do, repenting, fasting, whatever you do during that period, okay, will we'll, uh, basically... You know, uh, when Yahweh Shai returns, you'll be found, you know, worthy, all right, and accepted into the new covenant. Right now, we're not under the new covenant, but under grace, okay? This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 1 and 18. For as much as ye were, uh, ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, okay, from your vain conversation received by the tradition of your fathers, we weren't redeemed back to the most high through carnal means we were redeemed back to the most high through what but with the precious blood all right of hamashiach as of a lamb without blemish okay so he was that perfect sacrifice and he paid off the debt okay but now we have to pay off the debt all right through offering up our bodies as a living sacrifice okay and that's the grace period okay let's get uh romans okay Romans chapter uh, 5, okay, and 20, okay, it says, <clears throat> Moreover, the law entered that offense might abound, okay, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. You see that? That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So right now, we're, we're, we're in a period to where we're not judged solely by the law, but through faith. But through faith, there's particular works and sacrifices you have to offer up, all right, that will make you acceptable to be accepted into that new covenant, Okay. This is Romans 6 and uh, 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Now, you have a lot of people, mainly Christians, who say, well, since we're under grace, we're no longer we no longer have to keep the laws. Since we're under a period where, you know, we, we, we get to get ourselves together. Well, we can just do what the hell we want to do. We can eat what we want to eat. 
you know, we can steal, we can do whatever the hell we want to do. All right. Not taking any heed to what any of the laws said, because the laws is done away with in their mind. This is their, you know, um, understanding on it. And this is what they teach, which is very dangerous, because by you saying the law is done away with, you're saying that well, what is the new covenant? The law is being written in us. So right now, of course, we can't keep the laws perfectly. But through your faith. All right. There are particular things you can do all right, to offer up that right sacrifice, man. OK, it says, God forbid. So shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Now, let's look up this word for grace real quick. I don't have that much time. Grace. Um, this is in the uh, Greek. Cheris. OK, grace, that which affords joy, pleasure, delight. And it is joy. It is, it is a delight that we now have this time to offer up the right sacrifice now that we've been you know, we repented. We come back to the understanding that we're Israelites and what it takes to be back in good graces with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now we know what we need to do and we're doing it to the best of our ability. All right. Um, God will love kindness, favor. All right. That's favor, man, because literally under the first covenant, we would be dead. We should all be dead. OK, of the merciful kindness by God exerting his holy influence upon souls turns them to Hamashiach, keeps strength, uh, uh, keeps, strengthens, increases. And through this grace period, we are to strengthen, increase in the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the knowledge, the affection. OK, what is due grace? Um, token of proof. All right. Of grace benefit. This is a benefit for us. So going back. OK, going back to Romans six and one. And as you read down, it says, what shall we uh, say? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Now, you have a lot of people with that mind frame. All right. God forbid. How shall we that are in dead to sin live uh, any longer therein? Man, now that you know what sin is, why would you openly just commit sin? Sin after sin after sin after sin. And there's particular things you can't control, of course, within Babylon the Great. OK, but you not to use this grace period. All right, for an occasion to your flesh to just become a bigger nigga, a bigger sinner. You're supposed to flee from those things, man, to the best of your ability. God forbid, all right? So God forbid, all right? Now, as you go down, it, it goes into more things, and this is Romans 6 and 15, all right? What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? See, right now, we're not under the law because the laws are the covenants. The first covenant was the laws written on stone, given to Moses to give to the Israelites, Moses and Aaron. The second covenant is the laws going to be written in us. So right now we're under a grace period in which we pay off the debt. Okay. So that we can be acceptable when it's time to pay. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's get Romans the 12th chapter real quick. Romans the 12th chapter in the first verse, I beseech you therefore brethren, by the mercies of God that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. OK, and how do you do that? You know, you, you repentance, fasting, you know, uh, uh, cleansing, of course, your spiritual temple, which is your, you know, your soul. All right. Uh, uh, your works amongst the church, charity and all of these various different things. All right. Now, how you get the money to pay that debt off. All right. Is according to your measure in the spirit. OK, yeah, we're all under grace, but we're, we don't all have the same situation. We don't all have, all have the same measure. So how you pay off that debt is according to the sacrifice you offer up and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is good and acceptable. The perfect will of God, man, you're supposed to be an example of Yahweh Shai, of Yahweh Bashim Shai on the earth, man. OK, transforming your mind away from this world, man. OK, hastening for the kingdom to come. Remember, we're just pilgrims passing through. You're not attached to anything of this world. You use the world, but you don't abuse it. OK, so it says, for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself any more highly than he ought to think, because we're all under grace. And you have particular people who use their grace period to be niggas, man, to be high minded. Look, you're under grace just like us, bro. You're under grace just like me. OK, for I say through the grace given unto me. All right. To every man that is among you, not to think of himself 
more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God has dealt to every man their measure of faith. So the way you pay off your debt may not be the same way another brother is paying off his debt. Now, you can be an example to brothers. All right. But you don't want to get in the, the mode of, of destroying brother spirits. All right. By your meats or by uh, by your uh, uh, spirit, man. OK. Or by the things that, that, that the way you go about paying off your debt and offering up your sacrifice. You want to make sure not to grieve brothers in the Holy Spirit, man. For we are a body, man. Everybody has their measure in this grace, man. For as we have many members in one body and all members have not the same office, man. So some brothers may be weaker. Some brothers have more of a portion. Some brothers, you know, it's, it's a body, man. But we all work together to offer up the right sacrifice, man, within this grace period. You see, we're in a grace period, man. You don't use your grace period. If you owe the bill, you don't use a grace period to go and, and, and get more debt, right? No, you use your grace period to get the money needed to pay off the debt, man, so that you can have the acceptable amount, all right, so that your lights can stay on, all right? And that's what we're doing, okay? And the light is going to be put on us, man. Having then differing uh, gifts differing according to the grace that is given us, whether prophecy, let us prophecy according to the portion of our faith, okay? So within this grace, you've been given a gift, okay? You've been given a gift. And through the, and with your gift, you have you 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 owe, you owe, okay. There's a um, a uh, a riddle Yahweh Shai gave a parable about you know giving men particular uh, uh, you know money and some went and doubled it, some just hid their talent under a napkin. Okay, you're supposed to go out and double, man. Okay, and what are you doing? You're changing minds through the Holy Spirit. Okay, producing. The spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai on the earth, duplicating that within believers, okay, by your sacrifice, man. But you still have to be mindful because not everybody has the same office. Not everybody has the same spirit. Not everybody is going to pay off their debt in the way that you pay your debt off, man. Okay, let's get, um, um, let's get, let's see, Hebrews, well, let's get a uh, first Corinthians six. Um, 1 Corinthians 6, or, well, let's get 1 Corinthians 6. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, okay, and 18. Let's see, that ain't what I want. Let's join in one spirit. Okay, yeah, that is what I want. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 18. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he committed for he but he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. Okay. What? All right. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. You're not your own, man. For ye are bought with a price. You see that we're bought with the price, man. OK, therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. So through this gate grace period, because you were bought with the price, Yahweh Shai paid the debt by offering himself up as a living sacrifice. OK, uh, uh, you're bought with a price. So therefore, you, you're supposed to glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in your body, man. OK, by your works, by the vibration you push off, by 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 uh, the gift you offer up, man. OK, let's get um. Let's get Hebrews. Let's see here. There was something else I wanted to get. Hebrews 9 and 15. Okay. Let's see what I wrote that down. So, yeah, grace period. We're not under the second covenant. Okay. We're under grace. All right. But see, Christians love to teach that just because we're under grace and not under the law. Okay. Well, the law still apply. It's just that you're in a grace period in which you're not judged fully by the law, but you're still supposed to offer up the right sacrifice, man. You can't offer a swine uh, uh, on the altar, man. The the sacrifice still got to be acceptable. And what are the guidelines in which we get make a perfect sacrifice? They're written in the laws, man. All right. But now we operate in the spirit, man, because we're amongst all of this sin. We're amongst a polluted society. So we got to maneuver within the spirit. 
okay, and fight. You see, not everything is gonna be uh uh uh, uh on point and technical according uh, te according technically to the law. You gotta maneuver in the Holy Spirit, and your intent has to be right. You have to have the right intent within this world, man. But what laws you can keep, you keep them, man, to the best of your ability, of course, man. Because this, you you have to work on the Sabbath a lot of times. But 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 is your intent to just be a damn asshole and not get, give a damn about grace and just say you can do what the hell you want to do? Absolutely not. But you have a lot of people walking around with that mentality. In Hebrews nine and fifteen. And for this cause, he is the mediator of a new testament, a new covenant, a new agreement that by means of death, he died to redeem us back to the most high. He paid the debt for that the redemption uh, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. Who were under the first testament? Who was the first covenant given to the Israelites? All right. They which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance, man. OK, so so it, for, for this cause, Yahweh is the mediator of a New Testament. He's the high priest. OK, but we're under a grace period. Now, what do you do with your grace period, man? OK, you what do you do now that he paid that debt? Do you just become a bigger nigga or, or do you use him, his example as a means to how you offer up a sacrifice within this world, man? OK. That ain't what I wanted, but Hebrews 10. And 26, for if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remain no more sacrifice for sins, man. OK, now, of course, we're going to fall. But if your your uh, mentality is just to be a complete sinner, you can do what you want to do. You don't live by any guidelines. Then you're trumping grace, man. You're saying to hell with grace. I'm going to just do do me. And you got a billions of people with that uh, mentality, man. You got people in Israel with that mentality, man. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. All right. But a uh, certain fearful looking for the judgment of and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. And that's what's coming to wicked niggas, man. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses, man. That was the first covenant. Of how much more sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who have trodden under the foot the Son of God and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and have done despite unto the spirit of grace. Meaning you you use your period to just be a, a better nigga, a bigger nigga. You found out you were an Israelite. OK, you act you stopped eating pork, but that's it. That's about as far as it went. You just became a bigger nigga. OK, that ain't what we're here to call to do, man. OK, you're doing all right. Uh, 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 contrary to the spirit of grace, man. OK. Let's see here. And keep, you can keep reading in that chapter, but that's the point I wanted to get there, man. OK, because like I said, we're 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 not under the new covenant, man. We're under grace. OK, get that through your heads. We are under grace. But what are you to do during this grace period? Getting more debt? Or do you do what you have to do to fulfill that debt? Because when the new covenant comes. The laws are going to be written in us, according to Hebrews 8 and 10. I just wanted to bring that out. Um, let's see here. I did have a few more, but uh, Lord will. That's the point. You know, uh, if uh, if the time permits, I'll do another lesson. Shalom.